Hello, good fans. This is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the 11144 High Grade Clan Shay from the third generation of Gundam Age. Now, this is the mobile armor mode. <clears throat> they call it a flight mode in the instructions. Makes sense. It really looks good. It looks kind of like a, I don't know, I get a pelican feel from this. I don't know why. I think it's because of the, uh, the barrel here of the uh, beam rifle. But it is very nice looking. I love the, the design. It's, it's definitely. Um, it is a mobile suit, but it definitely has a, like a, a plane sort of feel. It even has landing gear. I think the last thing I made with landing gear for a high grade was the Marasame from Destiny. And they're quite easy to take apart, you just unpeg them. Now, it doesn't mean you have landing gear left over, but, eh, what can you do? It's nice that they included them. And then you just peg them back in here. Now, that thing that just fell off is... I think my biggest complaint with the kit. I'll get to that in a minute. And these work the same way. And it is sometimes a little hard to balance them with the landing gear. You just have to kind of fiddle around with the legs to get it right. And now, this thing. Now this is this piece here that is connected to the shield. It's basically designed, I think, to keep the head in place in both modes, because right now the collar is sunk in and when it's in mobile suit mode, it raises up. But it's not a huge difference, at least not that I can see. So, I don't think they really needed this thing, but it's supposed to like stay in there. And if you if you move it around, it kind of comes out. You gotta get, like, get it right in a certain sweet spot. And then you also get a stand. It is uh, slightly different from other stands from the uh, age line, in both the design on the bottom and the uh, two pegs on the top here. So it's probably best to use the uh, peg that's slanted for the uh, mobile armor mode. <laughs> and there you go. Very nice. Definitely a cool looking uh, mobile armor. Now, transformation. Get rid of this piece here that doesn't want to stay on anyways. Uh, the beam rifle. Now, it's it's a very long peg, and it's fed almost all the way up the torso. So, just flip this up, and then pull straight down, and... Yeah, it's pretty long. It's already showing, uh, like, uh, kind of stress here, because it's, a, it's really tight in there. And then just... Bring the torso forward, a lot like the H2, which obviously this is based on the H2. Put the feet forward. And there's the uh, lower half done. Uh, arms. Just bring them forward, rotate these parts. I like that these parts are connected, it's kind of cool. Now this is a very minor thing, but you take this piece here and slide it up. That's it. Very minor, but it will help a little with the shoulder articulation. I also find the upper arms here. I don't know. It, it seems to be rather kind of loose on mine. Maybe it's the polycast. Maybe the the pegs weren't designed thick enough. I don't know. And then you're supposed to take the uh, this piece here and stick it like this. So it's kind of like at an angle, and it'll push the collar up. And, uh, apparently I got it right, because it's, it'll stay and keep the neck up. And as you can see, it's not a huge variation on down, up, down, up. I don't really think they needed that joint. I, I mean, personally. Just because I, uh, now I, no, I should have taken that out. Oh, so, other than that, a little bit more transformation here. Flip the little arm pieces. Now, I've done this uh, several times, because i tried to do it a couple of times for the review, but it's starting to chew up the uh, polycap connector. So I wouldn't recommend switching these too much. Really, once again, I like it with the shoulder piece. It's a minor little transformation that you really don't have to do. You can leave it the other way, and I'm sure it would be fine. But I'm glad that they, I'm glad they did it. And that is the Clanche in mobile suit mode.
Very nice. I love the design. I really do. It definitely has the genoise feel to it with the big legs, the color scheme, the blue visor. But it's just, it really looks sleek. I love the way it looks. I really like the chest. The funny thing is, I've noticed, if you remember my uh, H2 Artemis review, that uh, beam, I call it the beam dust buster. This part, it looks a lot like the uh, the part, the white part of it. Kind of weird. And now, it does have a couple stickers. Uh, there are two stickers inside the visor, which I don't think I can get apart. Yeah, I'm not going to waste the time, but it does give a little bit of detail in there. And the green on the forehead, back of the head. You guys got gray stickers uh, for the vent detailing. You got gray up here on the shoulders and underneath. And you've got gray in here in the uh, back thrusters. And I believe that's it. So very minor detailing for stickers. But yeah, just detailing the way I like it. And like I said, it is a, lo a little loose on my uh, shoulder connectors here. And sometimes the legs pop out the knees. So it could be a little sturdier, I feel. Could be just mine. But I really love the design. I love the way this thing looks. In both modes. Now, the head goes up and down. Forwards and back. Rotates 360 without a problem. Arms forwards and back. Up and down. Rotate. Uh, they can go out. That far. So even with these parts put up, Still, not a lot. Rotate below the shoulder. One joint at the elbow. Uh, wrist will... They rotate. It's hard to get them all the way around. You can do it. But it is kind of hard with these little uh, protrusions there. The waist will go forwards and back at the, at the stomach because of the uh, transformation. And then rotate. Uh, the side skirts are on ball joints. And the back skirt is on a hinge. And you think because there's no front skirts, it could go really far forward at the legs. Uh, not with this design. <laughs> I'm both that far. It actually goes farther back. And it goes out really far. And rotates at the hip. The double jointed knee. Not too bad considering the bulkiness here. The ankle goes forwards and back, side to side, rotates. The toes go down, of course. And there's also these little flaps. Now, when you put them in, you gotta make sure you put the little, there's a little ball joint. You put it in and then you push it up until it kind of locks in place. Because if you don't, they'll fall out. But now they're nice and secure. I don't know why they added these, because if you notice, uh, that's as far as the ankle goes. And that's flush. I don't know. So, I think the articulation could have been better on this guy, especially the elbows. I don't know. I, I guess it, just the design they were going for, it limited the, uh, the model makers. But I do feel it could be a little better in articulation. And now there's not a lot in terms of uh, weaponry. Of course you got the shield, which does look like the H2. It's a little bigger, so a little better protection. And it fits into a hole on either arm. Now, I don't find it's a super solid connection. If you notice, there's a little too much wiggle here, and then it comes off. Now, there's a hole here. And the hole is for the uh, beam saber handle. It fits right in there. And you do get two clear pink beams with the kit. Now, why would you need two when you only have one beam saber? Well, you have, just like the H3, little holes here. So you can have them in the arm. I really like that. I don't know why they haven't done that sooner in, in uh, mobile suits. I really like it. Now, uh, the beam rifle. I really like the way it looks. I don't know what these holes are for. I have no idea. I thought maybe it would fit the shield, but the shield, those little pegs at the top and bottom, make it a little, oops, heh, a little too thick. Now, this hole here is to store on the back, and this is probably the weirdest storing process I've ever seen. It's this little peg here. So you have to peg it into the pink part, 
and then uh, wrestle like that. And that was actually, I'm actually doing pretty good on the, uh, in this review on latching that in. But I, I don't know, why couldn't they just put a, a pig in the back? I don't know. Now, to have it in the hand, it's pretty nice. I like how it works. Just flip this part up again. Feed it through underneath. And then and there's a hole and it pigs right together. That is super solid. Not coming out. And it looks really good too. So that is it for the accessories. But you do have a couple extra hands. These are the uh, kind of trigger finger hands. They're the trigger finger slightly extended. And then you got two closed fists. There's no holes. And you can store them here. But there's an extra hand. And I don't know why this kid has it. It looks like some kind of a, a martial art pose hand, and it, to me it would look a, a lot better on like a G Gundam kit, like the Shining Gundam, the Ga Gundam. It's it's different. I've never seen it before, and there's some nice detail in the fingers, but I don't know. It's just weird for this kit to have that. I mean, fine. It's it's okay. I don't, I don't mind it. I mean, even the uh, I think the Spalo. Would have benefited from this kind of hand. But, yeah, fine. I mean, it's fine. It's just weird. And you can take the uh, action base and use the top peg if you want. Or the other one. Whatever. And there you go. So, accessories, it doesn't have a lot. And I think it's a little questionable on how to store the uh, beam rifle. And the shield is a little loose, at least for me. But I do like the accessories, just kind of weird how they mount. Now for comparison, let's do it with the suit it was kind of based off, the H2. Now this is the double bullet, because I have the original as the Artemis right now. And you can see, well, kind of see how it is, uh, how it compares to it. But I think the one that's the best suited for a comparison is the Geno Ace. That's definitely a lineage right there, especially with the colors and the uh, blue visor. And you got the bulky legs. Yeah, it definitely, they definitely have a uh, feel like they're in the same family. So that is the high-grade Clenche. I really do like the design. I love the design of this uh, mass production suit. Definitely my favorite in the Age uh, series for a mass production type. I like both modes. Um, I don't really like this piece here. I wish they had just forgotten about that. Um, I do find mine anyways. Some of the joints are a little loose. Uh, might just be crappy polycaps. The shield mounts weird. The beam rifle stores on that stupid thing again. Once again, get rid of that. And well, that's about it. Uh, I think a few design choices could have been implemented to make it a little better in the articulation department. But still, I really like this suit. But that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.